What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Let's Play WWE 2K14. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside my Italian meatball, Brian Altano. All right, Brian. So all we've right. been doing these Let's Plays all week. Yes, we have. We've been theming them around Hell in a Cell. Yesterday, uh -huh. we had the Sheamus one go live. That was great. Then we previewed two matches the days before that. Now we're ending the week with two classic Hell in a Cell matchups where I'm going to try to change history. First up, CM Punk mm -hmm. versus The Undertaker. The Phenom, they call him. You, you remember The Undertaker? Yeah, did they call him The Phenom? Yeah. Okay. He, uh, this match has happened before. CM Punk versus uh -huh. Undertaker. And of course, Undertaker wins. Undertaker's like, you know, it's one of those things where, in reality, I think, Mick Foley is the man who made Hell in a Cell so popular. Right. right. But Undertaker is the one who's been, I think, in more of them probably nowadays. And he always has, like, you know, he's the phenom. He's got to win. He's, he's undefeated at WrestleMania. Yeah, Mick Foley is basically permanently scarred from these, oh, these sure. types yeah, of matches. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But The Undertaker is a immortal, so yeah. it's okay. He can, <laughs> well, ha he can I like power it. through it. I love that The Undertaker, yeah, is just like, still going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still going. Yeah, I, I don't he takes that. Well, he takes a lot. I mean, like, he's allowed to take time off, you know what I mean? To rest up, then come back to WrestleMania. To lay in his coffin. Alive. Yeah, lay in his coffin. <laughs> wait the afterlife. Wait for the urn to get <laughs> relifted. Undertaker was the man, man. And now yep. CM Punk's the man, then. I love CM Punk. Another, in, 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 you know, we were talking before about Randy Orton being a good guy yeah. behind, behind yeah. the scenes. CM Punk, another great guy. Really nice man. Met him, yeah, met him and did stuff with him at that WrestleMania tour years ago. He's also from Chicago. He's got great style, too. i got to say, yeah. if I wore underwear and a hoodie, yeah. I would get kicked off the train. Right. Yeah, you ever think, I mean, these guys got, like, they, don't, they got no shame. They don't care. They're, they're, they, 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 are, they are comfortable in their bodies, even, yeah. even the really overweight ones like me. Yeah, well, do you think... Like, if you were a wrestler, you would have, like, a sl swimmer's laws where you're, like, fat guy in the pool, like, can I wear a T-shirt? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I would definitely not be out there in, like, the, the wow. unitard, I don't think, or whatever. So this costume is awesome. Yeah. This is probably the coolest costume in this game. Undertaker's a badass. In fact, I mean, Undertaker so. could probably leave this match after this match and go kick everyone's ass in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> Two some pile driving people left and right. Um, That's a million-dollar crossover idea, right? Yeah, you're welcome. Have you're perfect. welcome, 2K. <laughs> Anytime you want to partner up with table, Wonder Brothers. Just grab it. And WWE. And who owns? No, I guess WWE owns Mortal Kombat now, right? Yeah. I guess Nether Realms might own the IP. Because is WB even putting out Mortal Let's Kombat? Let's not get lost in the weeds Okay, here. well, yeah, whatever. There you go. It's a million-dollar idea. Go get it. Just trying to picture, you know, Scorpion versus Undertaker. Right. But for now, we got this awesome Hell in a Cell match. I love how he just he can just ball out and fill the whole room with smoke. Yeah. Well, Undertaker's, I mean, like, when you've been around this long, you've made this many memories. Yeah. You're allowed to just, this is, like, uh, half of the, the game is his presentation. This man does not age, by the way. Yeah, I know. He has Leslie Nielsen's disease. <laughs> <laughs> He's been the same age for 70 years. <laughs> I'm going to take a few years off his life here. I'm going <laughs> to make him pay for beating CM. Really? Before. Yeah. That's, a, that's the plan today? I'm a big punk fan. All right. I'm going to cheer, like, like, like usual around these parts, I'm going to cheer against you. That's okay, fine. that's fine. I'm going for the Undertaker here. Okay. Is, is that okay? This is, like, yeah, that's great. I love that. To Don't do worry. It. All right, good. Make sure. Double checking with my I'm friend. At, it brings up the lights. I once did this at my grandmother's house when I was a kid. I did one of those where I brought in the light. It worked, and that was creepy for me. Don't do this at your grandmother's funeral. That's too late. Yeah, it's too late. I tombstone pile drive her <laughs> right into the ground. <laughs> 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 love you, Grandma. <laughs> I love you, and I miss Gong. you. <laughs> oh, my God. It, no, no. She's <laughs> still going. We did that joking up at noon. We did do that joking up at noon. Rest in peace, Paul Bear. Undertaker's awesome. Yeah, he is. Remember, I remember yeah, back classic. in the day. like he was. Yeah, exactly. He's my favorite. Like... Even when he turned, you know, ag against you, yeah, he still, he still felt for him. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it came in there. But like for me, it was like the one that I always remember back to is the, I, I want to say Royal Rumble, mm -hmm. and I don't, but I don't want to screw that up because I'll get eaten alive on the internet. But I think it was Royal Rumble where he fought Yokozuna for the world title. Where he died. Yeah, casket match. Yeah, remember and that? And then he rose through the television screen, yep. up above the television uh, screen. It was one of the most amazing moments of my childhood. I, and I was, like, flabbergasted. My I didn't understand it. I know. My mom's like, you know, we never saw him in the casket, you know. It's probably not him. <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't See, shut me, up, me and my brothers were big wrestling fans growing up, so we had a theory that, there was, that they dug a hole yep. in the arena. Yeah, oh, totally. And there was a hollowed out, <laughs> hollowed out casket, and you could go do this. Yep, uh, snuck out the bottom. Kids just always love to make it way more complicated than yep, it really is. Yep. The reality is that there was another guy that looked like him. Who yeah. Probably just got the well, and then, and like, that was the thing. is like that. So that, Okay, so Yokozuna totally cheats. Mm -hmm. He's able to beat him at the casket match. Bam Bam Bigelow was a big cheater of that, I remember. Yep. Um, and they bury him. He goes away. Then I remember WWE Magazine had, like, uh, these, like, Undertaker. Like, they do an article every so often about, like, Undertaker spot. And it'd be, like, him walking through the woods and stuff. Yep. Like, Bigfoot yep. or whatever. And that was awesome. But oh, then. Yeah. I remember all that, man. Remember, like, uh, he, 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 Undertaker comes back. And I put that in air quotes that you can't see. Paul Bear says it's not the real Undertaker. It's just a dude who looks just like Undertaker. But he acts like Undertaker. 
it was awesome. It was just the most fantastic thing ever for us, you know, as just kids playing the game. But then I had, got to go to that SummerSlam, 94 SummerSlam, where it was Undertaker versus Undertaker. Holy crap. With Leslie Nielsen there, actually. Wow, that's I didn't forget oh about that. Oh, my God. Where he was doing, like, the thing. And it was that's the where he contracted the disease. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first time. Uh, it was the first sporting event in uh, the United Center ever. Mm -hmm. And so we got to go, and my parent, my dad took the, he got, he went off work. Mom went off work. They took me. We ordered our tickets. We were on the floor. Not, like, up by the banner, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. But we got to take a limo to it and stuff. It was like, oh my god! It blew my. It was like such a great thing for like little Greg Miller. You know, that what is I mean? fantastic. Yeah, and like Macho Man walked by us at one point because he like did his little. It was when he was just like an announcer now. Yeah. So he like did. He like walked out through the crowd and like I grabbed onto one of the strings on his jacket and went to let go and he had to like stop and yank real hard. I I I've in seen retrospect some, I feel bad about. I've that. seen some wrestling events live when I was a Dang. kid, and the one thing that stood out to me always was they are. Gi they are they are giants. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah. it's not even like man, that's that guy looks big on TV. He is like a literal giant. <laughs> and then he fought that dude El Gigante, who was an actual giant. Yeah, I know, right? Remember that? Who that was, was twelve feet tall. <laughs> I forgot about that one. But the Undertaker got it right. I mean, except for right now when you're beating his face. In I got chair. it. Well, I mean, he's not going down easy. He's a taker. But you see, other other wrestlers like you know Sheamus, who we worked with the other day. Yeah, wonderful man. He has to really hurt himself to take a few months off, right? <laughs> the Undertaker, he wrote it in his contract. He could just fake death. <laughs> take the whole year off, go pop hide in a magazine like Waldo for a couple of pages, <laughs> come back with a nice tan, be wash happy. that tan off. You can't have that. You can't be Taker and have that tan. No, in, no, you in can't. There's no, you can't get sun in a, in a funeral home. Remember when he was American Badass for a few years? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. But he, he came out to Kid Rock, which was awesome. That was very weird. I don't I don't think about those times. What I loved about that was it was one of the few, the few times like me and my friends things actually came true where we're like we like WWE had been teasing something we're like oh Taker's coming back and the mm -hmm. one friend was like no he's not and then you know he comes out on that motorcycle at the end and just obliterates everyone. Yeah, I love that. Go to sleep, Taker. We're putting you down, old school style. Not really old school. But. There you go. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> really? The job squad. Oh, he kicked out, apparently. Good. We, we have the sound say, off. I didn't think he kicked out. He must have used the comeback. Oh, we can't God. just sit here for 20 minutes talking about how wonderful the Undertaker is. And then just <laughs> beat his ass with a chair and pin him at first. <laughs> oh, God. This is bad. Oh, legend. Oh, oh my okay. God, Brian. This is <laughs> there bad. There you go. Suck it, Greg. Oh, my God. I won't even. I won't even give him a two count. This is hell in a cell, brother. This is ridiculous. You, gotta, like, you look like a dwarf next to me. Well, well, don't let CM Punk hear you say that. I know, he's probably four <laughs> feet taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> I hit my comeback for you, Brian. I'm not happy about this. I have no, oh. oh, Jesus, come on. What are you talking about? This is good. This is a good show we're putting on. Oh, it is a good show. There we go, there we go. We're giving the people what they, their money's worth this year. You got to get up, Punk. <laughs> Taker's got that finisher stored too. He's all. He's oh god. Here we go. Oh no. This oh is exactly god. what this happened in the last Hell in a Cell match. Oh. Right. Rope You're break. Cooked. You're cooked. Rope break. Damn. Rope break with what? Oh shoot. Damn it. Oh god damn god. it. God. I'm not used to that resiliency oh, BS. I'm so happy to see that. You finally get to see me lose. I can see lose. I can see Undertaker win. I'm a happy boy. These, these are <laughs> well, all, all the ducks in a row. We put on a good show for you in the end, I guess. You got the chair shots. Then yeah. you got the choke slam, the comeback, the failed comeback. Go to sleep in there. <sighs> oh, man. Well, the next one's going to be Triple H. That's the next one we're reliving. Triple H versus Undertaker. It doesn't see that, if, that's another great era right see there. See if Triple H can mm -hmm. un undo history here because I couldn't do it to CM Punk. CM Punk, I'm sorry I failed you. All the CM Punk fans, I'm sorry I failed you. All the Undertaker fans, I hope, I hope you're happy. <laughs> it's we hard to it. beat the dead man. Hard to beat the dead man. Hard to beat the streak. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a Let's Play WWE 2K14 commentary with me, Greg Miller, my time, Meatball, Brian Altano. We will be back tomorrow with the final one for our Hell in the Cell week. It will be Undertaker vs. Triple H. We hope you'll join us. I hope I don't make a fool of myself again on the internet. I hope Beyond. you do. Yeah, shut up, Brian. <laughs>